Wharton takes 800 people every year and Stanford takes 400 people every year. The question is, and I face this a lot, does the class size of a business school really matter? Can I tell you something, honestly? Well, it is one of the factors of the MBA experiences, but you have to really think and evaluate if it really matters to you. And what are your options? You know what I mean? Like, if you're thinking from the perspective of, let's say, placements or finding a job, and how will Wharton place 800 people and a Stanford with only 400 students, will that be an easy situation to find a job? Then I think you, you don't get it right. Then I, I think you think you got it wrong. If Wharton has a class size of 800, their entire infrastructure, teams, initiatives, they are geared towards placing 800 people. Whereas if Stanford has a capacity of around 400, then that is how they have designed their entire ecosystem. So from the perspective of placements, first of all, please be indifferent. Doesn't matter. Now, like Columbia, Harvard, Wharton, they are known for large class sizes, around 800 to 900 people every year. And other schools are in the 300 to 500 range. Some of them are in less than 200 range as well. Now, at this stage, if you are thinking of this question and are not sure, then it does not matter to you and this is absolutely fine. Think about it this way. The question itself is tricky. If the class size matters to someone and let us say they are not keen on studying in a small program or maybe they are not keen on studying in a big program, then they will apply accordingly. But if you are asking this question, then it does not matter to you and then maybe you should look at other factors such as location or a big city. Do you want to be in a big city or do you want to be in Hanover at Tuck and get opportunities to meet with recruiters on campus? Or maybe do you want to, uh, so let's say in Charlottesville or uh, in Durham, Duke and you get to meet with recruiters on campus and then you fly out to New York maybe once in your second or the third quarter of the MBA for the informational interviews, whether in investment banks or the other option is if you study in a big city. Like do you want to be in New York and walk out of the class at 2 p.m., take a, take a cab and meet the recruiter right at their office. Both of these are possible and both of them are acceptable as well. Big cities will come with a lot of expenses as compared with small cities though, but then again, Standing in a school that is right next to a recruiter will also come with a lot of recruiter expectations as well. They will expect you to visit more than someone who is not studying, who is someone who is studying five hours away. So think through the, think from the perspective of locations and other factors if you are not sure why are you even looking at class size. The point I'm trying to make is these things are very, very subjective guys. And an important suggestion for you is if you don't know, then first reach that stage where you have an option, when you have admits to Wharton and Stanford and then you decide where you want to be, in a big school which is Wharton or in a small school which is Stanford which is half the size. Do you get it? If you are really not sure how is one different from the other in terms of their class size, then it is not, a f this, then this is actually a factor which is not important specifically for you and you can ignore it. Just by asking this question, you will, if you if you ask too much, you will have somebody impose their opinion on you and then you will start to think like them. Does not matter. Get your admits first. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video.